let's be real. In our impatient times, people desperately seek shortcuts to transcend the mundane and unlock higher states instantly. We want mystical revelation on demand, without the work. This impatience led to the mass adoption of plant medicines like cannabis and psychedelics as cheat codes for instant awakening. Proponents proclaim these substances intertwined with our evolution. But sober examination reveals they are overhyped tools, not requirements for altered states. With dedication, the same gifts arise naturally by cultivating your faculties. Don't mistake potent plants for the path. Awakening unfolds through integrating wisdom into daily living. There are no shortcuts. You already hold the key within. Today, psychedelics permeate popular culture, from celebrity endorsements to guided experiences. Debates rage over legalization, with many seeing prohibition as outdated. Promoters tout psychedelics as portals to insight, creativity, and self-actualization. The medicinal value of substances like MDMA and psilocybin is real. But in glorifying psychedelics as panaceas, nuance is lost. Some profit by overhyping temporary states as enlightenment, downplaying risks. Without integration into daily life, drug-induced breakthroughs often fade into hazy memories. For lasting transformation, visionary plants can be tools, not the source. The journey unfolds through dedicated practice, not chasing altered states. True attainment requires patiently training the mind, not fleeting highs. The scenic route risks missing the destination. Consistent work is needed to run this marathon, not temporary sprints. Don't mistake any artificial shortcut for the finish line. The route is slow but sure. Advocates claim psychedelics were integral to our ancestors' spirituality. Used ritually, plants may offer glimpses of the greater mystery. But viewing them as ancient teacher plants distorts history. Evidence reveals most ancient cultures used intoxicants sparingly, emphasizing plant medicines as adjuncts, not essential keys. While some shamanic traditions use teacher plants, direct transcendental experiences through yoga, meditation, and sensory deprivation appear more central historically. Achieving natural mystical states through dedicated practice was seen as the pinnacle of human faculties, not reliance on external substances. Be wary of those selling psychedelics as requirements for initiation. The keys to awakening are within you, waiting to be cultivated. Do not be fooled by promises of shortcuts. If your journey to enlightenment is more important than temporary gratification, then like and subscribe will help you lessen your reliance and in turn, you help us grow. Now, on to the next section. Marijuana legalization brought hopes alongside unforeseen costs. For creativity and relaxation, cannabis can be a gift. However, long-term users report decreased motivation, numbness, and memory issues. While less intense than other drugs, marijuana remains psychoactive, altering consciousness daily. Extended use tends to dampen focus and clarity. Ancient texts praise cannabis's medicinal properties, but discourage regular recreational use, which clouds subtler awareness. Craving pleasure is a doorway to bondage, blinding you from your true nature and capability. Marijuana often serves more as comfort than medicine, and that easy comfort postpones or replaces doing the hard work of finding fulfillment from within. Do not outsource your spiritual practice to any substance. Used occasionally, cannabis can offer fresh perspectives, but repeated use may short-circuit deeper maturation. Seek balance 
discerning whether cannabis supports liberation or superficial escape limiting your potential. Microdosing psychedelics supposedly enhances creativity, focus and well-being by stimulating the brain. However, studies reveal effects are inconsistent with only slight mood lifts. Taking sub-perceptual doses still impacts biochemistry daily with unknown long-term effects. Why turn a powerful visionary substance into a productivity hack rather than addressing core issues? Before microdosing LSD to focus at work, assess if your environment is unfulfilling. My main point behind this video is this. Until you master the mind, any briefly uplifted mood will crash when conditions change. Outer palliatives cannot create lasting inner peace. Relying on microdoses overlooks the opportunity for holistic change. Don't just numb dissatisfaction. Take action to infuse your work and life with purpose. Don't settle for quick chemical fixes. Do the hard work to shift your lifestyle towards conscious living. Comment below if you're going to be more cautious in seeking temporary bliss states. Psychedelic advocates downplay risks, but dangers exist. While rare, extended psychotic breaks or reactivated mental illness triggered by these substances can derail lives. Without careful screening, guidance and integration, Psychedelic use often reinforces escapism or ego inflation rather than dissolving them. Ironically, many recreational users display spiritual arrogance yet remain deeply attached to worldly desires. Take a second to think about what I just said. Plant medicines don't provide easy enlightenment but amplify both light and shadow. The Tibetan Book of the Dead cautions that these substances heighten innate tendencies, making negative minds more paranoid and positive minds more insightful. However, realizing chemically induced clarity still requires spiritual practice. Respect these substances, not underestimating their potential to uncover darkness. While risks are often worthwhile, Reckless is the tripper who disregards the chaotic forces psychedelics unleash. No quick fixes will ever bypass diligent self-mastery. Psychedelics powerfully rupture familiar perceptions, jarring you into radical awe. The sheer intensity of colors, energies and visions can convince you that you've lifted the veil on higher realities. But consider, while these visionary states feel meaningful in the moment, how much integrate into daily life? How long does the luminous awe linger before consciousness returns to baseline? Be cautious of over-interpreting drug states as glimpses of absolute truth. As many mystics report, profound revelations arise when perception opens naturally, not due to chemicals. Both paths may provide tastes of infinity, but only one synthesizes ecstasy into sober living. Do not become spellbound by psychedelic experiences. Integration through practice is the measure of attainment. The sheer rapture of psychedelic highs makes anything less seem drab. But peak experiences alone cannot sustain you. Ask seasoned trippers, and many report needing continual doses to feel awe. The true yardstick of transformation isn't the intensity of visionary states. It's translating insights into compassionate action, equanimity and service. Avoid using psychedelics as escapism from mundane life. Instead, infuse presence into simple acts like cooking, walking and listening. Use plant medicines as periodic springboards, then do the daily work, yoga, diet and community. Your feet may dance on clouds, but keep your head out of the clouds. Return to Earth transformed. 
Avoid getting overly absorbed in fleeting moments of joy to the extent that you overlook the profound enrichment that comes from maintaining mindfulness in the now. Some claim psychedelics accelerate enlightenment by temporarily deactivating the ego. But consider, while trips dissolve your ordinary sense of self, they don't permanently untether innate clingings and aversions. As chemicals wear off, mundane neurosis and desires inevitably return, indicating a limited impact on base consciousness. Without equanimity developed through steadfast practice, psychedelics only provide temporary glimpses, not permanent transformation. Any experience of oneness fades without training to break identification with the transitory self. There are no chemical substitutes for abiding peace. While psychedelics add exotic visions and insights, lasting wisdom dawns through slowly subtracting ingrained mental patterns with unwavering mindfulness. Do not fall into the trap of seeking out more and more novel experiences. Put in the slow, steady work to dismantle your illusions. There are no shortcuts to Enlightenment's plateau. While techniques vary between traditions, they all point to accessing transcendent states through dedication. Contrary to misconceptions, enlightenment is not a peak experience, but an end to craving. By meditating deeply on the nature of the mind and phenomena, attachment loosens. You glimpse reality's interdependent and transient nature. Daily activities become rituals of presence, Bliss arises without seeking, drunk on the ordinary. This natural high prevails in all situations once consciousness is trained. Cultivating full awareness while engaged in simple acts unveils the sacred within the mundane. Therapy and psychedelics may catalyze breakthroughs, but real transformation comes from training your mind to abide calmly, regardless of circumstance. To wake up, Learn to infuse your entire life with equanimity. Drugs may spark temporary fireworks, but dedicated practice lights an eternal flame. Even sober concentration steadily kindles into joy. With patience and perseverance, you'll dance with the divine daily. Psychedelics can stimulate profound openings flooding consciousness with visionary inspiration. But without diligent integration to weave insights into daily life, their gifts quickly evaporate. Any peak experience fades without building new neural pathways through spiritual practice to break ingrained patterns. To ensure enduring growth, rigorously reflect on each journey, creating rituals, art, poetry, or music to crystallize its lessons into your being actively co-create by developing meditation, yoga, chanting, and other contemplative practices. Creative expression grounds healing energies into your body-mind. Transformative integration requires consistency. Don't just trip, be the trip. There are no true shortcuts on the winding path to abiding peace. But in our impatient times, psychedelics and cannabis promise instant breakthroughs. Before you come for me in the comments, I am not against psychedelics per se, but treat these plants respectfully as occasional insight catalysts, not daily dependencies. Before consuming, question your motives. Are you seeking escape or a deeper purpose? The risk with routine use is numbing awareness, not expanding it. Without integrating psychedelic unveilings into sober service, their power fades. Strive to become so present that mundane acts elicit as much bliss as any drug-fueled euphoria. Through steadfast spiritual practice, untainted clarity naturally blooms. There is no substitute for slowly earning wisdom, one breath at a time. Be patient. The tortoise mind always overtakes altered states. Keep walking. True transformation comes from embracing everything that arises, the difficult and dull moments, as much as the ecstatic ones. With openness and courage, 
each experience blooms into a lesson. Trust the journey. You already have everything you need within.